I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine. morning guys we're back with another video and this one is going to be all about our little french bulldog puppies i'll show you how to clean them how much they usually eat so you have more of an idea if you're thinking about getting one and yeah basically just a day in my life as a french bulldog if you are new here guys please do subscribe leave us a little like and make sure you comment down below so we know you're there so i will give you guys a full tour in a minute but this is the door where the demons are behind dior is still in her crate because she's a puppy she's still crate training and then apollo is just roaming freely as he has his own bed. Apollo. Hello. Hello, boy. And here's Dior, little crazy. Hello, you. Right, just let her out. Sit down. Good girl. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, doggies. So I just let him roam, have a wee. Um, I usually say, go wee wee. And then she knows what that means. She'll go have a wee. Um, it takes a lot of time and effort, guys, to get them to pee on command. There you go. But there's loads of videos on YouTube how to crate train your puppy, how to get them to wee when you tell them to. So I've just set up everything clearly so you guys can see it. So got the two bowls here, and I do fill them halfway with water. Let's do Dior first. There she is, patiently waiting. Um, she is 10 months old, I think. Her birthday is in June. So for Dior, we have our scales. And then we feed Dior three times a day because she's still a puppy. And we do about 40, 45. I'm not going to take some out. She can have a bit more food. I'm not that mean. Then we do the same for big man Apollo. There he is also sitting patiently. He is one year, three months. So getting on adult life. But I still say he's a naughty teenager. Uh, so for Apollo, we feed him twice a day now. And he gets 100, about 100 or so. If it goes over, I'm not going to take any out, of course. Here they are, patiently waiting. They're not allowed to eat their food until you guys subscribe to our channel. Dior looks like she's getting really stressed over there as well, so I'd hurry up and do it quick. <laughs> anyway, I'm joking. You ready? Three. Go. Yeah, there you go. If you have got a new French bulldog and you're wondering how to work out how much food to give them, it usually says on the back of the packet... And you just work it out from there, work it out from how much they weigh. You already know what food we get. I've mentioned it in many of our videos, but it's just the Royal Cannon. I will say it's very, very expensive, but it is really good stuff. So that's the dogs all fed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sort myself out and then I'll get back to you guys with a room tour. And we'll clean their eyes, their ears and all of that good stuff. So I'm just editing a video. And the dogs are already fast asleep. There they are, in their natural habitat. Having their tenth nap of the day. A few moments later. So, this is the, like, bare minimum that you're going to need to clean your French Bulldog on a daily basis. So, we've got the cotton balls, the cotton buds. These are essential. Don't just use, like, tissue or baby wipes because it will cause more irritation, most likely. So, first we've got the ear cleaner. I've had this literally for ages. You can see that they've been biting the lid. Um, but all of this stuff is from um, Pets at Home. And then I've got this Diamond Eyes. I really love this stuff. And then some eye lotion. Then we've got this little <laughs> toothbrush. How cute is this? I hate using this on the dogs, by the way. But I'm just going to show you how to do it for the video. Um, but I find it so, so, so hard to use it. A little brush. This one's best for our Frenchie's hair. You can see it's mostly Apollo's. Dior isn't shredding yet. And then treats because you need to make cleaning your dog a fun thing or else they'll hate it. So just give them lots of treats and reward them lots. We're going to be using Apollo as our little little star today because you're used to this more, aren't you, boy? He doesn't move as much as Dior. We'll give him a treat to start, shall we? Are you ready? Give me a paw. Good boy. First, we're going to start with the eyes. So first thing I do is grab one of these cotton buds and then the eye lotion. I basically just said it prevents the tear stains that they get. So I just grab some of this and put it straight on the cotton bud. And then we go ahead and just wipe his eyes. Oh, see? It's not a nice thing. They don't like it. So just make sure all the eyes are clean of dirt. 
Let's see if I can get a closer shot for you guys. Then doing the eyes, I also take this. It basically does the same thing. I proper give them a rub with this stuff just to really make sure I'm getting all that dirt out of there. So then we go on to ears. Uh, just use the ear cleaner. This bit's really, really easy. You just squeeze the solution into his ears, about two drops of it. It is normal for them once you put this in for them to just give a little head shake. Are you ready? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Little squirt. Have to do the other one. Have to do the other one. So it's a big squirt and a big shake. Then what we do, massage his face. <laughs> he loves face massages, you can hear him. So this part I find really, really gross, but it's just grabbing one of these and literally sticking it in his ear, not too deep. You don't wanna, you know, touch anything. You're not meant to. If you're not confident like sticking this in your dog's ear, then what I would recommend is getting a clean cotton bud and just rolling it around in his ear. If you just get that and swizzle it around his ear, <laughs> look at that smile, just like that, it should get some dirt off as well. I do personally like to go in with the smaller one just so I know I can get everything out, um, but the dogs really don't like it that much. But yeah, look, a few swipes in the ear, and trust me, the amount of crap that comes out, oh, it's just disgusting. What else do we do now? Brush your teeth, boy. We need to brush your teeth. So I've literally just got a bowl of water beside me and then we're gonna grab the doggy toothpaste and put it all the way around the toothbrush. Um, this is hard guys, so don't feel like you have to do this if you have a French Bulldog. Um, but you basically need to open their jaw and then they'll chew on this and as they're chewing, you move it about. It can be hard, like I said, so that's it. So once he's got chewing on it, just like that, that's how you brush their teeth. But you do have to just take your time with it. Good boy. There we go, finally got there. Front teeth, clean them like so. There we go. I know he hates that so much. It's okay, you go. Have a treat, boy. Good boy. So there's one last step. This is my favorite. I feel like it just helps the dog so much. It's basically grabbing some coconut oil and popping it in the crease lines all over his fur and especially on the nose. So I just grab some on my finger and massage the nose and then put it underneath his two eyes and massage that as well. Loves a good massage and a bother this guy, don't you? So I do just wipe that all over his fur get it off my hands as well. So we have got the brush also, but I don't brush it in the house because it does just go everywhere. But I mean, it's self-explanatory. You literally just brush and the hair will come off. Your main stage debut is done, boy. Say bye-bye. Give everyone a paw. Yeah, good boy. I'm not gonna show you guys me doing Dior because um, that would just be boring, but I thought I'd just give her some spotlight too. Also, I wanted to zoom in on her lines because hers are really bad. Her, she's got really red eyes. We're trying our best with you, aren't we? Ah! Oh. <laughs> they literally just run in and out the house like crazy people. And they're gonna come back in now. This is what we call um, zoomies, everybody. They all goes for it though. She doesn't back down. I think tug of war is their favorite game. So while the dogs are having a little run around and a play, um, I'll go ahead and show you guys their room. It looked way better when I first did it. All the paint was fresh, there was no scratches, but obviously they're dogs, so, you know, they're putting their paws all over the walls and stuff, so it's not perfect. Um, it used to be full of like a lot of crap, but we moved that all out to make space for the dogs. So here's the first look. So I'll just quickly run through the room. So this is where Dior sleeps. Like I said, she's still crate training, um, so she just stay in her crate. She's just got one little blanket at the moment. And then this department is Mr. Apollo. He has his fluffy bed. Excuse the marks that I was talking about. I do need to repaint, but I haven't got around to it, and I don't know if there's point. Uh, so we do just have this crate here for no particular reason, really. We leave it open. We do also have this door here, this little thing to like separate them. 
but Apollo is just jumping over it so we don't even use that anymore. And then we just got a couple of their leads on the wall here, a little quote on the wall. A house is not a home without a dog. Also Dior's lead in her compartment with a little shot of her boyfriend. These are just boxes, excuse all the marks, I use this terrible paint. So whenever I move these boxes, it just scratches the paint off. Um, in these boxes we just have treats, poo bags, all their cleaning stuff, and then just some tissue and a hairbrush. And then we have some spray to keep it all nice and clean in here. A uh, toy box, but this is just full with like doggy clothes at the moment. I did try and hang up all their jackets like really cute here, but it just didn't work out. Yeah, I'm quite proud of this room. And I did try and, you know, make it a bit more decorative by writing Apollo's and Dior's room. Um, but like allow my rubbish handwriting. And then I did also add fairy lights just in the night time to add a bit more atmosphere. So when it's dark it is really cute with the fairy lights on. I'll also try and insert a before picture and before video if I have them. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just wondering if you'd like to come for walkies. Yeah, because I hope hopefully Nelly's gonna be there. Nelly's really important. And walkies. If there's walkies then we'll be there. If there's food and walkies, we'll be there. There's no Nelly. There is Nelly. We've got Nelly. And we're gonna go on walkies. We're gonna have lots of walkies and Nelly. And walkies and Nelly and walkies. <laughs> and here they are again. Sleeping. Excuse me, Apollo. Are you ready to go on a walk now? That was just a little prank, but we're actually going on a walk. Come on, walkies. Yeah, you're always up for a walk, aren't you, boy? So we're just at the field now, you would notice it from um, our last video where we took the dog for a walk. But it is empty so I'm going to let the dogs off for a bit. Ideal. One off for you. And one off for you. Are you ready? You're just going to bolt off. Are you ready boy? And There she is, getting so much more confident now guys, honestly. Sorry I haven't got much footage guys. We had to leave the field because they started football training, so we had to get out of there. So we're back from the walk now. Sorry I didn't get much footage, you know, it's so, so hard walking two dogs and filming. So I got as much as I could. Now the dogs are taking another nap. I think Dior's dead over there. <laughs> So guys, I think I'm just going to end the video there. We didn't do much today, I know. But I thought it was just good to give you guys a little update on the dogs because you don't see them much. But they are still a part of our family. I hope you found this video somewhat helpful, informative. If you're planning on getting a French Bulldog, please let us know in the comments down below if you are. Because we'd be happy to answer any questions you have. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. We are uploading three videos a week now. Um, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. So stay tuned for for that you're gonna see a lot of us and yeah that's it hope you all have a lovely day and peace